Hi guys, welcome back to another video and welcome to my channel if you're new. Hi, my name is Femke and in today's video I wanted to do a little bit of a different intro because basically what happened, I was planning on doing a three-part compilation video on three short nail designs because I have a teeny tiny short nail at the moment. But I don't know what happened, like I lost a third of my footage and I only could save two designs out of the three. So that's why I'm doing this little intro, just to say sorry. I don't know what happened, like my footage just disappeared and yeah, I thought it would be fun to do a bit like a different intro like I'm doing right now. So do let me know in the comments down below if you like me to do. Uh, more intros like this so a little bit more face-to-face one-on-one -on -one time if you know what I mean so yeah if you would like to see me do more intros like this let me know in the comments down below but yeah I really hope you like the footage that I was able to save and I hope you enjoyed the two designs that I was able to make with beautiful BJR Care nail polishes so yeah definitely check it out and of course if you're new to my channel definitely subscribe because there is a lot more fun nail stuff to come and of course become a part of my little nail family thank you guys so much for watching and enjoy the rest of the video bye so let's start with the entire design or at least the two designs i had left first up here you can see how my nails were before recording this is actually about one and a half weeks ago my nails definitely don't grow fast because it had already been four weeks since the tear and breaking accident happened it was right in the flesh you could see and read all about it on my instagram if you haven't checked out my instagram yet of course feel free to do so i always leave my um like social media handles in the description box but as i mentioned in the intro i'm going to use three gorgeous colors by pjr care nail polish they were really kind to send these out to me and i also have a 25 percent discount code if you want to use it you're totally free to do so i'm not getting paid or anything like that and of course on forehand i am going to use their nail polish remover this one contains no acetone at all and it's just really really nice to use on your natural nails and of course, when I am going to do a full-on design or any manicure for that matter, I love to use their base coat because it is quick drying. It protects my nails from staining and it lasts a really long time as well without any chipping or tip wear or anything like that. I actually am wearing this base coat underneath my colored coat at the moment and it has stayed on for almost one and a half weeks i have to say actually the design i'm wearing right now i just slapped it on after doing these videos so yeah it is practically still on there just a little bit of tip wear but that is mainly because i have quite a manual job but let's start off with the base color because that is this beautiful pink with a slight shimmer in there and i'm just amazed with how opaque this one is with just the first coat and i just totally love the shimmer in this one it is very very how do you say that like it's even finely milled or more finely milled than a shimmer it's kind of like a pearlescent kind of feel to it without the streakiness of pearlescent colors but next to that i am going to do a cute leopard print so i decided to start off with some dots in this beautiful tan kind of like latte kind of color and i am going to use this darker kind of like mauvey dusty rose color as the um, accents to the leopard print but you will see what i mean by that once i start applying the dots so first up you want to start off with applying the dots because this is a shorter nail you just want to use a dotting tool with not too big of a dotting size i actually just took one from my collection i've got a ton of them you can get them really easily online and they are quite affordable as well but because this is a short nail design i decided to keep my dots a little bit smaller and just add a couple of them and not too many because i really wanted to add some like separate 
separate dots with the darker color in between as well to make it look a little bit more playful. But while we're at the darker color already, of course you want to make sure that you let your layers of polish dry for at least five minutes, especially if you're using a little bit of a thicker coat like I did for the colored dots for the leopard prints. Just make sure that you have let it sit and dry for a little while. But after that, you can just take the smaller end of your dotting tool, or maybe you're using a bobby pin or anything like that. A toothpick works fine as well as a dotting tool. You just want to take that darker color and just make your leopard spot and print perfect. Just make kind of like C shapes and dots surrounding the lighter color to really get that leopard print effect. It is really easy. There are no skills needed whatsoever. And after you're happy with your print, your design, and you've let it dry for a couple of minutes, you can go in with your top coat. And this top coat I really, really love as well. It doesn't only give a beautiful, shiny, and glossy finish to the nail, but it really ties it all in without smearing the colors because the colors by PJR Care Nail Polish are really, really pigmented. And that can sometimes like make your polishes smear a little bit whenever you apply the top coat. I didn't have any issues with that whatsoever and that is also one of the main reasons why I love this brand so much and why I love using their base and top coat so much. But yeah, this was the first design already. Let's continue with the second. Unfortunately, as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, I lost the footage of the third design that's okay i still know what that design looks like and i will definitely keep it in mind if i'm going to do another like short nail video compilation or something like that but yeah for this second design i really wanted to do a dry brush manicure which was quite hard to be honest to do on a shorter nail because i'm so used to working on longer nails that yeah it was kind of tricky but it was pretty fun as well to have a little bit more practice on a shorter nail so i started off with the light latte kind of color of course in the beginning of this video i showed you all of the names and all that jazz of these colors i will always try to list them down below as well so if you're curious you can just look them up but i am going in with the darker mauvey dusty rose kind of color getting rid of almost all of the polish off the brush and just randomly apply some strokes it is called the dry brush technique so um, less product is actually better in this particular technique of course you can just try it out for yourself if you want to have a little bit more color or anything like that of course you can add it that's just what i did with this beautiful pink color as well this is the same color that i used as the background color for the previous um, pattern or leopard print design so once again you can definitely see the beautiful shimmer like pearlescentness going on in this one it is really gorgeous and once again you just want to overlap the previous brush strokes as well to give it a really playful effect of course you want to make sure that this is fully dry as well wait about five minutes because these polishes dry super fast you don't have to wait like 15 minutes or anything like that and of course after it's completely dry you can go in with your top coat and you are pretty much done with this entire design already the dry brush technique you can apply as many strokes or in as many different colors as you would like there are definitely no rules to nail art and that is something that i love to share in my videos just have fun with it play with it use different colors and just try out some new cool techniques but thank you guys so much for watching i really hope you liked it i'm so sorry the third like part of my footage is completely gone but i will keep that design in mind if i'm going to do another short nail design video but thank you guys so much for watching i love you so so much and i hope to see you in my next video